Okay, here you can see the two uh, connectors and apparently the old fluorescent tube in there was probably running pretty hot and caused this plastic to get brittle. Pretty easy to pop these uh, connectors out and I've got a, another pair I took off of an old ballast that I'll put back in and it's actually pretty easy to do now that I've bypassed the ballast because I've already got the wires for these cut off and when you're working on these sort of things be sure to unplug the cord that way you know the power's off I'll show you what it looks like when I get this uh, opened up okay there's the reflector removed and I'm just gonna pull these out I got a pair that I cut off another ballast and just strip the wires because they go right into there so it should be a quick swap just unscrew the wire nut pull the old ones out I'll put the new ones in and we'll see if she works okay there we go got the new connectors shoved in there now I gotta kind of hold everything together it's the reflector that actually holds all everything in place gotta tuck my wires in and get that screwed up there okay we've got the reflector back in there time to put the lamps in and here's the little note I put on the fixture just telling anybody in the future that I've bypassed the ballast for type B LED lamps. I put the dates and now that I've fixed the little tombstone connector time to plug in the lamps and see if it works. Okay connectors fixed and the lights seem to work just fine. Uh, just to clarify the damage on these uh, tombstone connectors here this was not from the LED lights. Actually, they looked okay when I took the fluorescent tubes out, but when I plugged the LEDs in, the uh, plastic just fractured here. You can see it's pretty discolored, and I imagine that the old tubes in there were running pretty hot, because these are pretty pretty brittle. The plastic just cracked away, and, and it's the, the plastic that holds the tension on the contacts and I was having problem with this uh, contact being poor. So anyway that should fix my last four foot LED. I actually have two more tubes and I'll probably put one more fixture out here in my shop and I like that the light is just instant on, instant off and it's totally silent. I don't hear any buzzing or humming with the tubes the cost to retrofit this fixture is under $25 and that's about the price of just a new ballast you can just swap out the old parts or bypass them you don't even uh, swap them out you just get rid of all the old parts keep the uh, sheet metal and the plastic connectors on the end and you've got a workable light fixture. I saved four of these from going in the landfill. I did take the fluorescent tubes down to my local hardware store for recycling. I'll put a link to the eBay store that I purchased these tubes on. They don't have this exact item anymore. I believe this was a called a G13 tube, 4000 Kelvin. And just to show you comparison, my solar LED lights over here are, I think, 2700 or 3000 Kelvin. So they're a little bit different uh, color temperature. The LED tubes are probably about twice as bright as the fluorescent tubes that I replaced. The LED light strip up here is about the brightness of the old fluorescent tubes. You can see there when the camera adjusts you get that sort of uh, light and the 120 volt tubes are definitely brighter in fact I think with one tube running the brightness is about equal and that's the neat thing with the LED tubes unlike the fluorescent tubes you can actually pull one tube out you don't have to have both tubes to have the fixture work if you want to dim these down, you can just remove one LED tube and the fixture works fine. Yeah, I'll uh, 
show you how I frosted these lamps. If you happen to get a clear lamp and you decide you want a frosted one, or if you have a frosted lamp and you want it more frosted, I'll show you how to do that. It's quite easy. Stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions, put that in the comments section below.